Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my channel House of Ezra, Sara here. I wanted to chat a bit about um, this idea for an Aussie ink swap um, and I didn't exactly know what to do with my background while chatting so I thought I would do two things at once and set up um, my fountain pen companion login. So that is what you're seeing on the screen and I'll talk about that a little bit as well. So what I'm doing right now is just setting up the account and confirming the email. But if um, you saw my stories over the weekend, I um, went down a bit of a rabbit hole of looking at all the posts and stories and everything from the Ink Swap 2022 that Simone at Simone organised. Um, it's something that I would have loved to be a part of. The shipping to and from Australia just kind of stopped me. I, I just didn't feel comfortable putting that burden on someone else. It, it cost quite a lot to ship overseas from here and vice versa so I started thinking as you do and I was pretty confident that there'd be other Aussie fountain pen lovers in the same situation as me which led me to well let's do an Aussie swing oh an Aussie ink swap messing up my words there a little bit on the screen right now I'm just putting in all the pens so you kind of just add them in their drop down menus kind of autofill if you start so it gets all the correct details so I'll just add the pens in and then keep chatting along. So I put a couple of stories up, got a little bit of interest, I know some people are tagging their friends, um, I'm still going to try and post on Facebook and, and Reddit and on my Instagram a little bit more about it but I thought I'd put something up on YouTube also. My idea at the moment is this, from now until the first week of Jan next year, just try and see if people want to do it and get people involved. Then I'll have like a close off date um, and I'm, I would organize all the admin for this and everything else. Um, so once we've, you know, registration, which sounds very formal, whatever the informal version of that is, um, would close on one day and then the, the next day or the day after I would send out information to everyone for privacy reasons what I do is by participating in the ink swap you're agreeing for your email to be sent out um, but I won't I don't want people everyone sending me their postal address because that's more private but what would happen is so let's say I am the sender and I get the email address for the receiver let's call the receiver Tom um, I then as the sender Email Tom. Hi Tom, my name's Sarah. Nice to meet you. Um, I have a few ink questions for you and put in the ink questions. I will can send people out some prompts, but you can also ask yourselves. Um, can't wait to hear from you, blah, blah, blah. Tom then replies to me, answering the inky questions and providing me his postal address. For every ink swap, there is a sender and a receiver, but it's not the same. So Tom is then the sender for Tim. Same thing again. Tom will email Tim. So you're actually in conversation with two different people as someone sending ink and as someone receiving. I also kind of just had an idea um, which would be completely optional. There's absolutely no pressure of Something that I want to do for myself is uh, I'm calling it like a, a postage roundup. So if for me to ship my ink to Tom costs uh, $1.20, um, I'm going to decide either to the nearest dollar or $5 to round it up in my head. So let's make math simple and go $0.80, cents, which takes us to $2. And I'm going to donate that $0.80 cents to um, close the gap. I'm just going to read off their website as to their mission statement um, because I think this says it best. So, our health, our voice, our choice. The Close the Gap campaign is a social justice campaign focused on Indigenous Australians' health in which peak over 50 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander and non-Indigenous health bodies, NGOs and human rights organisations work together to achieve health equality in Australia. The campaign was launched in April 2007 and now has over 240,000 Close the Gap supporters. So that's just something I would like to do, um, but I would keep it completely optional and, um, 
and you, you know whether you do it or not you don't have to tell me but if you did want to I can then you know at the end of an ink swap say hey we also um, collectively donated x amount of dollars um, I don't want to be collecting the excess postage and do it it would be something that we'd all do um, on our own accord um, but I, I don't know it's just I thought it could be a nice idea Coming to the end of this video now, so I'll just do a quick wrap up. And look, in terms of this website, it's been really easy to use. Um, it flows really nicely. I love that you can see the the ink swatches or um, on that dashboard page, kind of all your inks. It kind of lets me know where I have gaps and things like that or what inks I lean towards. Um, yeah, the layout's great. I can't wait to play with it a bit more um, and see how user-friendly it is and if it's something that I keep going back to if um, you're based in Australia and an ink swap is something you'd be interested in doing, please reach out. Um, either you can leave me a comment here or um, DM me on Instagram at House of Ezra with a full stop in between. So house dot of dot Ezra. And um, I will I will touch base with you. I realized I got a little bit ahead of myself then talking about the dashboard. Um, it's going to come up in a second. What I'm just doing now is just putting in my currently inked. Um, I've hope, I hope, sorry, that you have enjoyed this video. I hope that there are people out there who, who are interested in doing an Aussie ink swap. I really can't wait to hear from you. Thank you so much for hanging with me today and watching this video and uh, listening to me chat about um, an Aussie ink swap that I hopefully can get up and running for the beginning of next year. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you could hit the like and subscribe button, as always, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, I hope everyone has a great day and I can't wait to chat to you guys all again soon. See you later.